Royal Snub, How Prince William Left Kate Middleton Tearful at Christmas Kate Middleton was left in tears after Prince William cancelled their Christmas plans at the last minute, a book has claimed. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William married at Westminster Abbey in 2011, and have since gone on to enjoy a very happy marriage. Aside from royal duties, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge live a quaint life with their three children, namely, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. However, before settling down, the couple endured a turbulent relationship at university, and even broke up more than once. During the Christmas of 2006, William left his girlfriend in tears after cancelling their plans, a book has claimed. In 2011 book The Making of a Royal Romance by Katie Nichol, the royal expert reveals how Kate was tearful after William let her down over the festive season 12 years ago. She explained how William had promised Kate he would join the Middletons to celebrate Hogmanay at Dredunson House. Ems Nichols said, at the last minute William had a change of heart and decided to stay with his own family instead. William is said to have informed a tearful Kate during the late-night conversation on Boxing Day of the change of plans. While Ems Nichols explained to William is was no big deal, for Kate the cancellation was a sign of something more sinister to come. Ems Nichols said, she, Kate, had good reason to be concerned. William had been having second thoughts and sat down with his father and his grandmother to have a frank discussion about his future with Kate. Both advised him not to hurry into anything. The press, unaware of trouble in paradise at the time, were still reporting on a speculated engagement between the couple. However, William did not pop the question until 2010 announcing the news to the public with a statement from the palace. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, shrugged off claims of a royal feud with her sister-in-law Meghan Markle as she was pictured attending church on Christmas morning with Prince William. The Duchess of Cambridge and Duchess of Sussex were all smiles as they walked beside each other up to St. Mary Magdalene in Sandringham, Norfolk. No doubt intended. The pair walked side by side with their husbands Prince William and Prince Harry either side of them. They exchanged glances and smiles and were seen looking each other in the eye and chatting as they approached the church for the annual service. Kate looked typically festive wrapped up in a ruby red coat with a matching hat and gloves, finishing off her look with maroon suede heels. Meghan wore all black in an attempt to keep cameras away from her baby bump but her open double-breasted coat gave royal fans a glimpse of her blossoming pregnancy. The Duchess of Sussex, walking arm in arm with Prince Harry, wore a black calf-length dress, coat and knee-high boots, finishing off her look with a matching hat with feather detail, black leather gloves and bag. William and Kate are spending Christmas Day at the Queen's country residence in Norfolk with Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, despite claims of a fallout. The Sussexes prompted speculation of a rift with the Cambridges when they announced plans to move from Kensington Palace, where they are William and Kate's neighbours, to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor early next year. The move sparked claims of a row between the brothers and their wives with speculation Meghan and Kate do not get on. But Kate appeared to put the royal drama behind her as she stepped out for the traditional festive outing. Other members of the Queen's immediate family were also in attendance for the annual church outing. Although her husband Prince Philip was not in attendance. Prince Charles' wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, also pulled out of the service, suffering a heavy cold which also stopped her from attending the Queen's Christmas lunch at Buckingham Palace. Royal revelers, some of whom had arrived as early as 4 a.m. this morning, handed Kate and Meghan bouquets of flowers while some fans were even seen flying American flags to welcome the Duchess of Sussex into the family. Meghan looked content as she paraded arm in arm with her husband Prince Harry. The Duchess wrapped up in a navy blue coat, showing off her blossoming baby bump. In church, a chorus of God Save the Queen could be heard, before the royal family and other members of the congregation exited, ready to go to Christmas lunch. Members of the royal family attended the morning service at Church of St. Mary Magdalene, marking the start to their annual Christmas celebrations in Sandringham. The Queen was the first to arrive, and looked festive in a grey coat with red hems, bearing her look with a grey feathered hat. The Queen's Christmas speech will be broadcasted later today, 
and was recorded in advance at Buckingham Palace. Her Majesty arrived without her husband, Prince Philip, who will instead stay at the Queen's Sandringham Estate. Prince Charles also attended the morning service without his wife, Camilla Parker Bowles, who is believed to have been down with a cold during the festive period. The royals left the morning church service shortly before 1 p.m. Meghan and Kate performed a curtsy to the Queen as she exited in a car back to her Sandringham estate. It has been another busy year for the UK's longest-serving monarch, with the Queen carrying out a full program of engagements. The monarch has also had a number of happy family events, including two spectacular royal weddings. Meghan and Eugenie both married this year, at the same venue in St George's Chapel in Windsor. Eugenie and her sister, Princess Beatrice, arrived separately to St Mary Magdalene Church this morning for service. Eugene was all smiles as she walked hand in hand with her husband Jack Brooks. Spank. The pair tied the knot in October, in a lavish ceremony held at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, the same venue where cousins Meghan and Harry married earlier this year. Eugenie looked festive in a red dress with black lace detailing, while Jack looked smart in a black suit and pastel blue tie. Eugenie's sister, Beatrice, arrived separately with her Autumn Phillips, wife of Peter Phillips the Queen's eldest grandson. Beatrice, who is eight in line to the throne, wore a navy blue button-down coat with gold detailing, pairing her look with black gloves and knee-high boots. Meanwhile, Autumn Phillips wore a dark green coat and matching hat, with black gloves and a black clutch bag. Zara Phillips and Mike Tyndall also attended this morning's service at St. Mary Magdalene's Church for the Royal Family's Christmas Day celebrations. Zara is the daughter of Princess Anne, the Queen's only daughter. The pair were all smiles as they strolled hand in hand into the church. Meanwhile, Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, the Queen's son, and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex arrived with their children Lady Louise Windsor and James Viscount Severn.